And we're back with another Bebonic Bulletin. Really? Okay. Um, let's talk about the cause of this pandemic. To answer this question, we turn to Chief Medical Officer, to the Pope, Guy de Choliac. Uh, hello there. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. So can you give us some help understanding the cause of this catastrophe? Uh, yeah, the most current theory is based on Yisins causing pestilence, or Yisins pestis for short. Um, other theories include the chance that the planets outside of our atmosphere, or outside of the Earth. Wait, there's an outside the Earth? Uh, yes, it uh, contains, how do you say, heavenly bodies. Uh, very, very large, and we call them planets. These planets have lined up in such a way that they cause the atmosphere, or the, the sky, to release a noxious gas that is very bad for you and causes the plague. That is um, one of the theories. Uh, if you do contract the plague, what our viewers should know is that you should contact your local plague doctor almost immediately. Uh, he will use the forefront of our medical knowledge to help you. He will give you nice smells to cover up the smell of disease, which will stop the plague from spreading. He will let your blood out to cleanse your body of sin. We also have noticed that plague can be passed from person to person. So if you know someone with the plague, you should steer clear of them so that their evilness does not infect you. Alright, so there's been a lot of discussion about the <coughs> origin of this pathogen. <laughs> Get it? Because it's origin. Can you help us clear up any remaining questions about where this disease really came from? Well, that part of the puzzle is still a little vague, unfortunately. We don't really know where this disease comes from. There's some skepticism, and uh, but some say that it comes from Asia. This is a continent to the east of Europe. Um, it spread from Asia to Europe through uh, trade routes, they think. Um, they do not know. Again, this is all skepticism. Um, before, in Asia, there was mass death and casualties, so we don't know if that corresponds to the plague we're ex experiencing here. Uh, we don't really know how to get all the way from Asia to here, so we don't really know. But uh, we're not really sure. Uh, back to you, I guess. Okay, that was helpful. Um, now I'd like to list off a group of people which you good, honest Christians to steer clear of. First, we have the Jews. These are a dark and evil race of people. Remember, they crucified Jesus. Some of them have even admitted to poisoning our wells and spreading the plague. Next, we have the Arabs. These heathens worship a backwards god down in their Middle East country. They trade with Mongol barbarians along a Silk Road, and they might even still blame us for the Crusades. Pfft, I know, but it's life. Basically, what you need to remember, anyone who's not a Christian, steer clear. Moving on to real estate. Land prices have dropped drastically. This means that farmers who couldn't afford lands before can, and lords have to work their own lands. Oh, we're so sad. Now we turn to Garth, Mix Scotland, for a Plague Watch update. Garth? Oh, uh, will we think that the plague started over here in Asia and kind of moved over to Europe, um, right here in about Constantinople. Uh, the plague sent a ship, well, we think that in Constantinople, the plague traveled down to Italy. And from Italy, we think it spread throughout Europe. Um, we don't know a lot, though, because we don't have that much information. But all we know right now is the plague is wreaking havoc over Europe. Um, we also know that 
major cities are being affected the most, like London and France and Paris. Um, basically, to recap, you want to remember cities, bad. Rural areas, good. Us, as a country, as a, as a continent, not good. Plague, not good. Back to you. <coughs> well, thank you, Garth, for that insightful bulletin. In, in weather, it's that time of year again. The fleas, the black bugs are hopping around, and we don't know how to get rid of them. Our chief medical advisor says you should just wear long clothing, so that's what I do. Um, look out for your local flagellants members. Look out for your local flagellants members as they pass through your town. If you get close enough, you might actually cleanse yourself of all sin. That's good. Well, that's all the time we have, so I'm going to sign off. This has been 1351's bubonic bull, bull, bullet... <coughs>